morning, everybody, and welcome. Um, my name is Kristen Nitz, and I'm the musical director here for OCMA uh, Kingdom and Magnum Choirs. Um, I want to introduce ourselves for those of you, especially for you, those of you who are out there in uh, Cyberland who don't know us. Uh, we are Orange Coast Musical Arts, OCMA for short, and we are a private music school for homeschoolers, uh, ages 5 to about 18. Uh, we teach just about any instrument you can think of, beginning band to advanced band strings, and of course my favorite, choir. <laughs> Um, if you're interested in more information, you can look us up at orangecoastmusicalarts.org. I would like to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your Friday evening to come and visit with us and listen and enjoy our Kingdom and Magnum Singers tonight. Um, for those of you who are online with us, I would like you to consider just putting in a comment or two in the chat, letting the kids know how much you're enjoying the, the performances and uh, just getting them some encouragement. I will be reading a few select comments throughout the performance. I'll take a small break midway and then at the end, and this will just let the kids have a little bit of encouragement and let them know how much you're enjoying it. So without further ado, I would like to present to you a rockin' good time. Splash is a 1958 novelty rock song performed and co-written by Bobby Dern. It was Dern's first, I mean, co-written with DJ Murray the K, who bet Dern at not could not write a song that began with the words. Swish Splash was taking a bath, as suggested by Murray's mother. It was Dern's first hit and the song helped it to give him a major boost in his career. Reaching number three on the U.S. pop single chart and number two on the R&B best sellers chart.
Purple Paper Eater is another novelty song written and performed by Chef Woolley, which reached number one in the Billboard Pop Charts in 1958. The premise of the song came from a joke told by a friend of Woolley's. He finished this entire composition within a single hour. Balloon bamboo. Play rock and roll music to the heart in his head. Bamba is a 1958 Mexican folk song originally from the state of Veracruz by Richie Valley. The song made it, it to become a top 40 hit in the U.S. charts in one of early rock and roll's best known songs. However, a release has been found as early as 1945 by El Hiroko.
Am I close enough? There we go. Lollipop is a pop song written by <laughs> Julius Dixon and Beverly Ross in 1958. It was first recorded by the duo Ronald and Ruby and then covered more successfully by the Cordettes. The song is a firm favorite amongst many performing barbershop musicians. The song originated when Julius Dixon was late for a songwriting session with, session with Beverly Ross. He explained that his daughter had gotten a lollipop stuck in her hair and that had caused him to be late. Ross was so inspired by the word lollipop that she sat down at the piano and produced a version of the song on the spot. Later, this was covered in the United States by female vocal quartet, the Cordettes. Their version reached number two and number three on Billboard Pop and R&B charts. Song written by Dion Renee under the pseudonym Jimmy Thomas and recorded by Bobby Dick. In 1958, it was Day's biggest hit, single becoming a number two hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and spent one week at the top of charts R&B. So Michael Jackson at later recorded his own version of the song in 1972. Watch it achieved even greater success and the cart went.
1950s was well known for their many love songs. We are going to bring you just a few in a wonderful medley called Love in the 50s. Tonight we will touch on A Very Special Love, written and released in 1957 by Mitch Miller. Then we will bring you the famous Chances Are, which was released in 1957 and sung by the number one heartthrob of the time, Johnny Mathis. And then we will end with Doris Day's number one hit in 1958, Everybody Loves a Lover. pretty darn proud there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, actually, I'm really proud. <laughs> okay, so, so I hope that you've enjoyed it so far. We do have a few more songs for the rest of our concert where our Magnum singers will be singing for us. Um, so while Kingdom is uh, exiting the stage, what I thought I would do is read ah, a few of these comments from you. Kingdom Choir rocks! We love you, Isaac, Nana, and Papa. Mike, you're rocking my 50s tune. <laughs> Fun, nostalgic songs, aren't they? They really are. Ah, uh, good job, guys. Kingdom Choir, making the 50s sound awesome. Great job, Leah Grace. Love, Dad. Where are you? There you are. 
Um, Shani, you look so beautiful. Nana and Papa Mike. EJ, looking cool, dude. <laughs> Groovy, Leah Grace. Sounds great. Rock on. Uncle Tom and Aunt Kathy in Florida. See, we got people all across the United States watching us right now. This is cool. Kingdom and Magnum, you sound awesome. Alto Squad and Jeremy, I'm so proud of you guys. Dag me. <laughs> You guys look and sound amazing. I miss performing with you guys. Love you, Elizabeth. You know you can always join us. <laughs> I love you, my rockin' bebop Bella Bella Bomba. <laughs> love, Daddy. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and then you go, Auntie Tab from uh, Silas. I hope I got that right. Great job, Leah Grace and Raquel. Go, Leah Grace from Jocelyn in Texas. Fun to see the Magnum kids singing with the Kingdom kids, isn't it? It really is nice. I, I got to tell you, you know, I've done this for many, many years. I took a break for a little bit, but I've done this for many, many years. And this, doing it together like this, has really, truly been the most pleasure I've had out of teaching is when they do it together. So I like that, too. So thank you for your comment. <laughs> Uh, Rocket Lee Grace, Brendan, you too, Aunt Kathy. You guys all look and sound great. Miss and love you, Isabel. Oh, hi, Isabel. <laughs> great drum playing, Jason. Yeah, let's give a little round of applause for Jason. Yes, thank you. <laughs> in case you can't tell, he's got some fans in the audience. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and finish with our rockin' good 50s with the Magnum Choir. The Lion Sleeps Tonight. It is a song originally titled Zulu for Lion and written in the 1920s and recorded by Solomon Linda in 1939. The song was adapted and covered internationally by many pop and folk revival artists in the 1950s and 1960s, especially after it was published in December of 1951. In 1961, it became a number one hit in the United States as adapted in English, the best known version by the duo group the tokens. It went on to earn millions in royalties from cover versions and film licensing. The pop group Tight Fit had number one hit in the UK with the song in 1982. Oh, 
by me is a song originally performed in 1961 by American singer-songwriter Ben E. King. According to King, the title is derived from and was inspired by a spiritual written by Sam Hook and J.W. Alexander called Stand By Me, Father. The third line of the second verse of the former work derives from Psalm 46, verses 2 and 3. There have been over 400 recorded versions of the song performed by many artists, notably Otis Redding, John Lennon, Cassius Clay, later Muhammad Ali, and so many more. Lucy Jews is a rock and roll standard written with the first written and recorded and first recorded by Carl Perkins in 1955. It's considered one of the first rockabilly records incorporating elements of blues, country, and pop music of the time. Perkins' original version of the song appeared on, a, on the Cashbox best-selling singles list for 16 weeks and spent two weeks at the number two position. Elvis Presley later recorded Blue Suede Shoes in 1956 and it appears as the opening track of his self-named debut album, Elvis Presley. Presley performed his version of the song three different times on national television. It was also recorded by Buddy Holly, Eddie Cochran, and among many others.
the banana boat song. It is a traditional Jamaican folk song. The song has mento influences, a style of Jamaican folk music, but it is commonly classified as an example of the better known calypso music. It is a work song from the point of view of the dock workers, working the night shift, loading bananas onto ships. The lyrics describe how daylight has come, they want their work to be tallied, counted up so that they can go home. The best known version was released by American singer Harry Belafonte, in 1956, it later became one of his signature songs. To close our program, we will be singing for you Mam Mambo Italiano, which is a popular song written by Bob Merrill in 1954 for the American singer Rosemary Clooney, yes, George's mother. The song became a hit, 
hit for Clo Clooney, reaching the top 10 in record charts in the US and France, and, and number one in the UK single charts early 1955. The song has known enduring popularity with uh, several cover versions and appearances in numerous films. Mer Merrill reportedly wrote it under a recording deadline, scribbling hastily on a paper napkin at an Italian restaurant in New York City and then using the wall paper to dictate the melody, rhythm, and lyrics to the studio pianist under the, under the support of conductor Mitch Miller, who produced the original record. But I'm really sweaty now. <laughs> Were y'all dancing in your seats or what? I know I was. <laughs> okay, so first, let's put a nice round of applause for our Magnum Singers. They did a great job. <sighs> yeah, and let's also keep that going for our Kingdom Singers, please. Okay, I want you all to know something. So, oh, by the way, you guys can sit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I decided in my insane musical mind mind <laughs> to decide to do this concert with only two months of preparedness for these guys. So, think about that. We meet once a week for an hour, okay? That's only really seven in this case for for real seven rehearsals that they and the kingdom put this concert together so one more time for a round of applause for these kids for working really hard <sighs> wow well i want to read a few more of those comments great job magna go jason we love you the jason rue fan club association <laughs> Oh, thank you, Jason. <laughs> Great job, Shani and Raquel, Miss Robin. Y'all are doing amazing. Love the Stewarts in Texas. Hi, guys. It's good. I miss you guys. But I, I see, I know, I see one over here. 
Lion Sleeps Tonight is one of my favorites, and you did such a good job. Great job, EJ and Shani. We're, stu we're, oh, we're standing by you, Shani, EJ, and Magnum. Love you, Nana and Papa Mike. Great job, caring, stand by me, boys, in the back. Yeah, four guys, that's it. Pretty good, huh? Awesome job, young adults. Keep it going. Hey, Shani, you did awesome. Love you, sis Kate. <laughs> Oh, Victoria, that smile lights up the stage. I see you holding back the urge to dance. Just go for it. <laughs> wow, EJ, you sound great. Love, Nana. If Magnum wants to take their talents on the road for millions to watch, I'll be your talent agent. <laughs> Mr. Watanabe, you got a deal. <laughs> Brendan looks like, a, like he belongs in the 50s. Looking sharp. Love, Dad. Great job. Awesome job. I don't know about you, but I am really proud of these kids. You know, seriously, I really am. <laughs> oh, thank you again. For those of you who are online with us, I want to thank you again. I hope you guys really enjoyed the show. Uh, it was just a little under an hour, and I hope that you stayed with us for the whole time and, and really enjoyed that. How many of you, not only out in Cyberland, but how many of you in here actually know all these songs? Raise your hand. Or remember them growing up, even. Yeah. Exactly. And that's why I picked this music. I thought it was just, it was perfect to end our school year with. So once again, we are Orange Coast Musical Arts. This is the Magnum Singer behind us. And you saw Kingdom Singers earlier. And we hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful summer. Let's give another round of applause for our singers. Thank you. Orange Coast Musical Arts Magnum Singers want you. Can you sing? Can you really sing? We want you to be part of this amazing choir. Every year we put in several productions at many different locations. But we need you. But we need you. But we need you. But we need you. Come join us for three weeks for free just to see if you like us. Just visit orangecoastmusicalarts.org for more details. Magnum Singers wants you! Are you a singer? Have you always wanted to learn how to sing? My name is Don Holman. I'm the director of Orange Coast Musical Arts, and we have a fantastic choir that we're looking for you, homeschoolers that want to learn to sing in a great choir. Come join us today. Orange Coast Musical Arts, Magnum Singers wants you. Orange Coast Musical I like that every age group can be together and that everyone can come together and do things together. <laughs> Orange Coast. Oh. Every year we put on seven, uh, several. But we need you. Orange Coast is. But <laughs> only a handful of uh, children on. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. We want you to be a part of the... Wait, are you recording? Yeah. Make a blooper video. What? <laughs> Make a blooper video. I, I'm probably going to now. <laughs> <laughs> the dance routine, they didn't give it to you? Okay, I know this is a trick. You're gonna try to make me dance by saying this and I know it's not, no. I see what you're playing right now, <laughs> not happening. class and you always give me a smile always so I know that you're gonna do great things in your life and go get them tiger hiya <laughs> Tabitha, you, ah, you have such confidence. It just exudes from you, especially in your musicality. It just exudes from you. Um, you never have a problem saying, hey, I don't understand, or you, and 
what, what's crazy is most kids, they don't want to make mistakes. She doesn't mind making a mistake. Well, probably inside she does, but she never shows it. That's the thing. If she makes a mistake, she's like, okay, let me do it again, you know? And I just think that's wonderful. I know for a fact that you are going to really go somewhere with that attitude. So congratulations for graduating. <laughs> Um, the other kids got their pictures. Show everybody. The other kids got their pictures at the band concert, so that's why they don't have theirs today. Oh, Brendan, you're next. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm saving that one for last. <laughs> <laughs> terrified boy, terrified. No. <laughs> As you can tell, I have a fun time with my kids in class, very much so. Brendan? You have the warmest heart I have ever known <laughs> in a human being. You care so much about your friends. You are willing to go out of your way and do whatever it takes to help your friends. I've seen it time and time and time again. And I think that's a, just a wonderful quality. Your musicality has grown tremendously over the years and your acting ability is wonderful. So whatever you do in Texas, Make sure that you continue to sing and continue to act because you're really good at it. Congratulations. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> okay, so this kid here is the kid I never have to ask to help. He immediately just goes right up to me and goes, what can I do? What can I help with? What can I help you with? Every day, or every day, I wouldn't know, every Monday after class, he's always there to help. This kid is also the one who's grown the most in musicality. Um, I had him as a vocal coach student of mine for quite a few years, and yeah, <laughs> we know how that started out to where you've come. This kid can carry a tune now, and he does a great job, and he practices like mad at home in shows. So, Jeremy, I know that if you continue to do that in your life, you're going to go far. So, congratulations, bud. <laughs> to each and every one of you, I'm going to miss you all terribly in so many different ways. I really am. And you are all welcome to come back next year. Well, maybe not you, because you're going to be very far away. <laughs> But you're all welcome to come back in my choir anytime. But if for anything, at the very, very least, come back and visit, say hi, shoot me a, a, you know, a text or throw a rock through my window. <laughs> Just something. Follow me home. Yeah, this kid followed me home yesterday. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I get a call from, from Harriet going, I know where you are. I'm like, are you behind me? I don't see anybody. <laughs> So thank you guys for being in my choir. Thank you. All right, step down. I have a few more things. Hang on, Mason. Okay, so you know that a choir, I can do it all myself, but I can't really, okay? And there are quite a few people that help behind the scenes. First off, Jessica, as you see her back there. She's here every week to open up and a closed choir room every week. She helps out by, uh, when she can, by putting um, uh, uh, individual tracks together for the Magnum Singers so that they can study on their own at home. So Jessica, thank you so very much for all your help. Jason, where are you? There you are, Jason. Um, dude, come here, come here. So let me tell you something. A month ago, I started looking for drummers, and I asked, I asked her, I asked Mr. F Mr. F, um, you know, w what his thoughts were. I asked Noah, uh, one of the kids. Nobody was capable of being here tonight. Last Friday, was it Friday? I think it was Friday. Last Friday, I talked to his dad, and I said, "Yeah, I'm kind of bummed. You know, I really wish we had some drums. It would really f make this music rock, right?" And he says, you know, Jason plays the drums. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot he does. I think of him as, you know, brass, right? Well, I walked over to the kid, and I said, sorry, man. <laughs> and I said, hey, 
Jason. Pet my eyes, Jason. <laughs> do you think that maybe you would be willing to do this for me? And he, without hesitation, he's like, um, yeah, sure. I was like, really? <laughs> yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay. <laughs> so Jason, thank you so much. I cannot tell you how much you really filled the gap for this music. So I need a hug. Thank you. I have one for you, Jessica. <laughs> okay, the next person I want to thank is Jeff. Jeff, dude. I, I have no words for you. I really don't. You don't have any kids in this choir. None. This man took time off work to be here to do this song for us. He took time off his work. I mean, that's, that's a big deal to be here for a friend, not for his kids, but for a friend. So, Jeff, thank you so much. You always come through for me and I, I appreciate it more than you will know and I have one for you as well. So thank you. <laughs> I got just a couple more and I promise I'll let you go. <laughs> uh, Vincent, thank you. He was a helper here today, helping set up, helping Jeff and helping Anthony and just, you know, running around doing little things and setting things up. So thank you for being here and supporting your sister and supporting me. I really appreciate it. Okay. One of the most important people here. You're not going up here? Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Monica Yoon. <laughs> Y'all know who she is? If you don't know who she is, I'm going to tell you right now. She is the person that makes this choir happen. Because without her, I cannot do it on my own. She's the one who plays the piano. She's there every Monday night playing for, for Magnum. When our Kingdom pianist was unable to do it this, this semester, she stepped in and did Kingdom as well. She practices. She's there. She sits through me yelling at the kids, th sits there while I'm trying to teach other things to the kids, whatever. And, man, I could not do it without you. So, Monica, thank you so much. And please, I beg you to come back next year. <laughs> Okay, one more person I have to thank. Actually, it's a collection, and that's all of you. I can't, I literally cannot do this without you guys. No, not you. <laughs> it, 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 Ethan's gone. I got somebody I have to pick on now. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't do it without all your parents. Seriously. If you guys don't bring your kids, uh, there is no choir. You guys are so willing to hand your kids over to me. I don't know why, but you are. <laughs> for a couple hours each week, and you are on your kids for helping you know, them to practice and do whatever, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Tell your friends. Bring a friend next semester and have your kids have some friends in this so that they can have even more fun. But thank you so much for you know entrusting me with all your kids. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. We're going to do our raffle right now. So whoever's got the raffle stuff, if you could bring that up, that would be great. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what is this? Oh, for all of us. <laughs> These kids are my family. They're like my kids. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Oh man, thank you guys so much.
That means a lot to me. It really does. These, these kids really are my kids. I feel so close to each and every one of them. So now, all right, I need one kingdom singer. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh, I got two. Okay, I think of a number one through ten. What's the number? Seven. Not you, kingdom. Give me a number. Eight. Okay. One to ten. Okay, five. Three. No? Okay. One. Okay. Actually, it was actually nine. She got it. Okay, the rest of you sit down. Annabella, stay up here. All right, we're going to do our raffle. And I'm not going to have that there. Uh, yeah. No, you can do it. 